You're listening to Kate Palmer from sparkletart.com and today I'm going to be showing you some peacock inspired embellishments with some products from Lindy's Stamp Gang. These look absolutely stunning on black. The first step for this project is to colour all of your embellishments black. Now I'm using a chroma krill matte acrylic paint. On most of these embellishments I'm using it neat so I haven't mixed it with anything. It gives a beautiful even matte black coverage. For things that are a bit more porous like paper flowers I've added a little bit of water to the paint to make it into a more liquidy consistency. It just allows you to paint things a bit more evenly. Now for a little extra depth I'm adding Toto's Tornado Black and I'm only adding this to the flowers. You can see immediately the difference that it makes and it dries that rich black colour. So it's just going to give me a couple of varieties of black. So this will be my ultimate black. Now to really make these pop I'm going to be using my Lindy's Stamp Gang products over the top. I'm going to start with some glitter and I'm applying this by adding a little bit of glue to my embellishments. Now I don't want to make a big mess and I'd like to apply fine details. So I'm adding the glue with a glue marker and the one I'm using is from Express Graphics or Express It. Now the really beautiful thing about this particular idea is that you can use a lot of your coloured embellishments that didn't really match from other projects or packets that you've received. I had originally green leaves, I had sort of a champagne colour pearl from Prima from quite a few years ago. But in colouring them all black to start with, they all coordinate, it's beautiful and it's a really lovely way to use things that you may have otherwise just thrown out. Now you'll also find that you'll get some surprising results. For example, these pearls that I've covered from Prima turn out looking like they're flocked. For whatever reason, when you stick the glitter to these, it gives a beautiful texture rather than just a sparkle. Now I've done about a quarter of my embellishments with the black. I'm going to use the same glue marker and add some beautiful time travel teal to some of these other embellishments. Now whilst the black is beautiful and sparkly, the blue is absolutely standout. It is just stunning. I'm not going to cover these entirely, I'm just going to use the blue as an accent. And you'll see why, it really stands on its own. I'm also going to add some of the time travel teal blue to the edges of these leaves just to give them a little bit of zing. Keep in mind you can use the glitter as an accent. You don't have to be particularly heavy handed, especially if you're not a real glitter kind of person. It can be subtle. For my last colour I'm going to use the shabby turbine teal and on the little stars which are going to be uh, quite inconspicuous compared to the rest I'm just going to add a little bit on each just to give a tiny bit of shimmer. I'm now moving on to the Lindy Stamp Gang embossing powder. I've taken two colours of Brilliance ink because this is nice and sticky and I've just used a small stamp to stamp patterns onto my black painted hearts. This doesn't need to be a coloured ink pad, it can be clear as well but I find that uh, the coloured metallics in particular are really quite lovely because if you miss any with the embossing powder you've still got something beautiful in the background. Now I'm going to start with the Desert Moon Turquoise and as you can see I'm adding it to certain areas of the heart but not completely covering it. I'm then going to tip the excess back into the bottle and repeat this process with the Aurora Amethyst before I dry it with the heat gun. This process is also called embossing powder painting. It just means that you're using multiple colours on the one project to either pick out an area, a shape or colour something in. I'm now adding the Aurora Amethyst and I'm just going to heat with the heat gun. Now with the hearts you've got two choices at the end here. You can leave them as they are which means that the black paint has a little bit of sparkle over the entire surface. You can see that here. Or if you'd like the embossing powder to stand out a little bit more you can take a large fluffy brush, make sure it has soft bristles and just carefully brush that excess shimmer off. You'll just be left with the shimmer from the embossing powder. 
It makes the powder stand out more, but the heart will sort of fade into the background a little. It depends on the effect you're after. Next, I'm going to add a little embossing powder and use it to color these paper flowers. I'm going to be adding um, my clear embossing liquid with this Ranger Dabber. It just gives me a bit more control. On the smaller flowers, you can pick them up and just add the Dabber directly to the edges of the petals. This will give a very subtle shimmer edge to the flowers without being too overpowering. On the larger flowers, I'm going to and coat as much as I can of each of the edges of the petals with the dabber. For the smaller flowers, it's possible to just pick them up with a pair of tweezers and dip them directly into the embossing powder. This is a no mess kind of way to add the embossing powder to the smaller flowers, although it won't work with the larger ones. To add the embossing powder to the larger flowers, what I've done is tip a little pile of embossing powder onto some cardstock or paper and then roll the embossed edges of the flowers into the embossing powder. Gently shake them off and then tip the excess back into the jar. You want to try and be as tidy and clean with this as you can or else you'll end up with embossing powder bits everywhere. You'll want to repeat this same process with a few different colors of embossing powder to repeat that peacock feather effect. Don't forget to dry your embossing powder with the heat gun to set it and you'll get that lovely pearlized finish. Now while Lindy's Stamp Gang Magicals or Glitters or Embossing Powders will give you the most punch, the most effect, the most wow on black cardstock, you can also use the Starburst Sprays. Now the thing with these is that you won't see the dye colour, so you won't see this orange, you'll only see the shimmer. For example this has a gold shimmer, you'll see gold. This particular one has an aqua blue shimmer, you would see the aqua blue. So it pays to test these on some scrap cardstock first. I'll just show you a couple of different ways to apply this. Firstly, you can spritz or spray. Now this will just give you your average shimmer and I'll just let this dry. Now the other thing you can do is a heavy spray. Now this is not usually a good thing for stencils because it soaks through underneath. But we'll see how it goes on this. Now you can see I'm really flooding the cardstock there, which is not great. Picking it up, I'm probably not going to get a particularly wonderful stencil pattern. But I just want to show you the difference between your normal spritz or your normal colour, which is what you would do if you were just spraying some colour, and a heavier application. So this is the initial spritz that I did, the initial spray, just a single pump in each section. You can see you get this beautiful shimmer. Next is the stencil where I've made a much heavier application. If I put these two together, you can see the difference. So one is very light. This is much bolder, much more stunning. Now you can even get a heavier application by swirling. And just flicking the color off the end of the little stalk that's in your bottle. And just to show you the difference between the colors, I'll put a bit of this time travel teal on there as well. And you can see how stunning that looks. Now imagine that on a scrapbook background in a few different colors, just sort of flicked on there. It's Reminds me of galaxies and starry night skies for some reason. Really, really pretty. You'll then need to carefully glue all of your embellishments onto your canvas. Now, when I get up close here, you can see that I've got all of those beautiful different mica colors on all of my embellishments. And it really does look amazingly stunning on black. You have the stunning in your face sparkle from the glitters and a somewhat more subtle version from the embossing powders. Now don't forget, you can of course use both of these products on white or colored card or embellishments as well. I just wanted to show you how fantastic these look on black. A lot of people don't think to use them that way. Now as I get close, you can really see the sparkle here. And I love the way I've achieved those peacock tones from the Lindy Stamp Gang coordinating products. Now that they are coordinating micas, magicals, sprays, glitters, 
there really is a world of possibilities. There's no reason you can't make, or colour at least, all of your own embellishments if you wanted to. But the thing I like the most is it makes the embellishments that you already own so much more versatile because you can recolour them, coordinate them, change how they look just with the addition of a couple of extra products. And as you can see here, it really was so simple and relatively quick. I think the painting took longer than everything else. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this. I sure enjoyed making this canvas. It was something that was a bit out of my comfort zone, but uh, really, really fun. And I felt that the black painting added a really interesting element to my Lindy's Stamp Gang. I hope this has given you a few ideas about other ways you can use your products from Lindy's Stamp Gang. Don't forget, you can use them over dark colors and black, and they look equally as stunning as they do over whites. I'll be back with more soon and hope you guys have a fantastic week.